Hey kids, Dale LePage here for another episode of Out With Dale. Let's face it, I've been out for years, but right now I'm out at the Hanover Theater for the Performing Arts, and I'm here for, for a celebration of a Christmas carol, and I'm here with one of the main players, Annie Karens. Hi, Annie. Hi, thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. I'm so, I'm so happy to be here. I love the Hanover Theater, and they've been a sponsor of New England Pride TV for since its, con since its conception, and so thank you for that. Um, a Christmas Carol, it's the uh, 12th season. Yes. You've been in all 12 uh, seasons? I have not. I've been in 11. The Slacker. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually on tour doing another show um, the first year that they had their production. Now, since you've started in the productions of A Christmas Carol here at the Hanover Theater, um, do you reprise the same role? I've been playing Mrs. Cratchit uh, the whole time, but I have different responsibilities that have been added uh, over the years. So at this point, I am the associate choreographer, which means I teach all the choreography in the show. That's a huge responsibility. It is. I'm, it's very rewarding. It's Elise Robbins' original choreography. Um, but yes, it's a bit, it's, there are 30 people in the cast. Oh so, my God. so I have a lot of notes, and uh, I have access to the archival videos, which helps a lot. Um, in addition to the associate choreographer, I'm, as of last year, an associate director in the show. And I also do some blogging and work with the marketing department. So. That's the reason we are here this evening. Yay. Now, one, I've known you for years, and I didn't know that you were a, a dancer choreographer. I only know you as a singer. Well, you know, you got to be a triple threat in the music theater. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> I got to I got to stop that. I, I know you as a singer and an actress because I think it was maybe maybe three months ago I messaged you because I saw you in a movie with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, right? Is that right? Yes, that's yes. right. Central Intelligence. So, yeah, and, and I'm sitting there on my sofa and I'm like, I know her. I'm like, I was like so I was so happy. You look beautiful first of oh, all. Thank you look you. beautiful in that movie. Thanks very much. And um, so now you're here at the Hanover Theater. And when does a Christmas Carol start? It opens December fifteenth and runs through December twenty third. And tickets can be found where? Um, you can come to the box office, you can call the box office, or you can go to the website, www.hanovertheater.org. Right. I, I might be the hanovertheater.org. I'm going to look that up. They can, all they can, <laughs> they just have to Google the Hanover Theater. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I, I, I'm told we're going to get to meet a couple of your uh, co-stars. Yes, yes, right. absolutely. You're going to be meeting um, the gentleman who's been playing my husband in the show, for the last five years, I believe, okay. and yeah, and then Spirit of Christmas Past and our assistant stage manager, which is a very important part of the show. All right, great. So we'll be back with more right after this. Hey guys, we're back and we're here now with Bob Cratchit. Please tell me I'm correct in that. You are correct. And you are? Tyler Bellman. Not the Tyler Bellman from New York. The Tyler Bellman from New York, yes. Now, what brings a famous actor like you to play Bob Cratchit at the Hanover Theater for the Performing Arts? Um, I auditioned, well, first of all, I went to school in Boston. Um, I graduated there. I auditioned uh, nine years ago. I took a year off. Um, but I auditioned nine years ago, was cast as Young Scrooge, and four years ago, I bumped up to Bob Cratchit. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Now, there's a lot of dancing. There is some dancing, yes. Some dancing. Um, and how have you found the dancing? Are you a trained dancer? I went to school for music theater, so I have definitely taken See, absolutely, yes, absolutely. some dance classes in my day. Nice. For sure. All right. So you do, do you get to dance with our friend Annie Kern, Karens? Yeah, I do. Annie Karens is our, um, she's been, Kern Karens, she's mm -hmm. been um, uh, teaching us all of our choreography, um, cleaning everything that we need to be have cleaned. And yeah, she's doing a great job. And what do you think of our Hanover Theater? I love coming here every year. It's uh, a beautiful theater to come to. Uh, Troy, our director and the artistic director here is great to work with. And it's really everyone who is in the show is kind of a family. So it's nice to come and uh, spend the holidays with these people. Nice. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing you play Bob Cratchit in this season's um, A Christmas Carol. Yeah, come great. see it. We're back, and now we're joined with Kylie Benoit, who plays the ghost of Christmas past in A Christmas Carol at the Hanover Theater. Welcome to Out With Dale. Thank you. So how did you get such an important role? Did you, did you audition? Did you have to, or did they scoop you up when they saw you? Well, I had to audition, but 
maybe they scooped me up. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I auditioned, they did. I got a call back, and then I got cast. So let's talk about the audition process because I'm sure a lot of people out there want to know what it's like. Uh, do you come in prepared with a song? Do you have to dance? Do you have to do a, a monologue? Yes, for the original audition, I had to prepare a song and then I had to read a few lines. Okay. And then for the callback, I sang the solo that I have and then. The solo that you have in the show. So you have a solo yes. in the show. Mm hmm. This is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. You've <laughs> got to come hear her sing. I've heard her sing and she's phenomenal. <laughs> Um, what solo did you sing for your audition? Uh, well, I originally it was some Christmas carol, and then okay. for the callback I sang In the Bleak Midwinter, which is my solo. So are you from Worcester, Massachusetts? Yes, I am. I'm from Belchertown. Oh, you're from Belchertown, okay. And when did you, did you see the um, ab audition advertisement in a paper, or do you have an agent? Um, I do have an agent, but she didn't help me get this role. I saw it online. I love this. And I auditioned. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Congratulations. We can't wait to come see you as the ghost of Christmas past. Thank you. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. All right, we'll be back. And now we're back with... Melissa Daroff. And Melissa, you are the... I'm the assistant stage manager for A Christmas Carol. As confusing as that sounds, I know you handle flying people too, right? Yes, I do. In addition to helping make sure that their backstage runs smoothly, one of my jobs is to help coordinate the flying of uh, the ghost of Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. Now, one of my, uh, when I've, I've come to see the show uh, before, and I was lucky enough to be in one of those side boxes, the, the half round, um, I don't know, what, I'm sure they have a fancy name, but, uh, and I got to see a little glimpse backstage, oh. and it was fascinating. I loved seeing that. So your duties are to make sure everything runs smoothly. Yes. Now, how long have you been doing this? This is my seventh production of A Christmas Carol here at the oh, Hanover. Oh, wow. Yes. So I'm sure every show runs perfectly smooth. Well, I mean, it is live theater, so there are sometimes things that happen, but we have a great crew and an amazing cast, and we all work together to make sure any little bits that might not be exactly what they should be either get fixed or solved in the moment. And our goal, and I think we achieve it all the time, is that no one in the audience has any idea something's not exactly the way you would expect it to be. So I expect, uh, I'm, I'm assuming your job can be very stressful at times, but the audience will never know. The audience has no idea how much we do backstage. You know, there's amazing choreography on stage, but there's actually really quite a bit of choreography backstage, making sure that everything happens in the order that it needs to happen and, and in coordination with everything going on on stage. Now, in the seven years that you've been doing, is it mm -hmm. seven consecutive years? Uh, yes, seven consecutive years here at the Hanover. And um, what do you think of our, your production of the Hanover Theater and why should people come see it? One of the amazing things about this show is that even though it's, it's almost all the same cast and it's a lot of the same costumes and the same set, the same script, is that we make really great adjustments and changes every year. There's always something new on stage. There's always uh, new people in the cast. There's always something new and unexpected for an audience to come and see. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Now make sure you call the Hanover Theatre box office and get your tickets for A Christmas Carol, and I'll see you there. <laughs>